Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, former Evo Extreme here. It is the 7th of March 2024 and we've got some packed full of mods. Mods did drop quite late today, around about 5pm UK time. But anyways, here we are and how I'm going to lay out as always. We're going to be looking at placeables first of all and there are many of them, we'll look at these later on. Also, we've got a couple of equipment pieces, and all the time slots for each and individual mod can be found down below. So, first of all, we've got a finished machine shed by Jamo. It is 10.42 megabytes to download. Slot counts are as following 9, 6, and 9 slots. These can be found under build mode, under buildings, and sheds. Scroll down and yep, yeah, so we got a old style machine shed, a smaller machine shed and a bit of a more of a modern looking shed and all of them do have a variety of core options and as you can see they all go down to one slot count after you place your first one and prices are 50 grand, 15 grand and 70 grand. And yep, yeah, so much more to be said. Nice little old side machine shed. Good levels of detail, especially like the wood working out. So that's the first one. The second one, there are some limited uses of this, like you can just about get your head underneath without clipping onto the wood beams, but you can fit like bells and that or whatever underneath there. And similar to the old one, we do have a more modern one, so just got a nice rolling door, door to access. There are no light switches, even though there looks like there are to be lights, but I cannot find any for lights to be. So that is the finished machine shed by Yamo. Next, we got a another mod by Yamo. It is the finished sheep barn. It is 10.4 megabytes to download. You can hold up to 80 sheep. 8 grand to purchase. 100 pounds to daily upkeep. Does have a automatic water fill point. And yeah, so let's go and have a look here. And again, I can't find no light switches for this. Just having a look around. Nope. But yeah, so your feed input is here. It is quite a limited access, so small traders are required. Your wall spawn point is here, as noticed by the box, the hazard mark box. Also got a little area here, so maybe sort some wall bells, over, not wall bells, wall pallets over here. And as you come out of these doors here, head around to the corner, and you find your dialog box for your sheep so as mentioned hold up to 80 sheep and that is the finished sheep barn by Jamo. Next we've got the grain storage by Noob Frags. it is 12.29 megabytes to download slot count is 7 cost 45 grand and the upkeep is 70 euros uh, so let's go and open this, and it says it's a hole for your grain or machinery, so have a look inside, got like, a couple little bays, these aren't like silo clamps or anything, light switch can be found over here, so do you need like the help menu open because it can be a bit difficult to find, so yeah, you can store your machines or your grains. And even though it's technically not a grain, I do have some wood chips, so I'm interested to see that in terms with capacity wise. Minus my driving. And the place where some of these other buildings for the other mods are a bit close, but so yeah. Go and just back it up. So things like if you do harvesting, you don't have silo, you saw your grains here and that, so let's go and unfold this. Here we 
goes unloads the chips. Even though we've got three and a half million liters. Yeah, it's a bit of a limited space in terms of the unloading. Not sure if that's because of the trailer itself or the shed. Like, you know, going above the shed. Or going above the pile, shall I say. And, um, yeah. Cannot. Oh, we've got ourselves stuck here. Yeah, can't find. Yeah, go above. No more than, like, the height of the brick walls. But anyways, this can be fine under build mode. Also, slight correction, the sheep barn can be fine under sheep and, yep, yeah, sheep barn, so minor correction there. But yep, yeah, this can be fine under buildings and sheds. And scroll down, so yeah, 45 grand. I do have any other options. None that I can see. But yeah, 45 grand, as mentioned, 7 slot counts, goes down to 1. So that is the grain storage by Noob Frax. Next, we've got the Calborn 20 by 35 by Paisal. It is 17.85 megabytes to download, slot count is 42. Can hold 97 cows, so. It's a bit of more of an old style cow barn from first impressions. Got varieties of doors and gates, so your dialogue box is here at the front. As mentioned, 97 cows. And go into here. That is your feeding trigger. I do have light switches and actually relatively bright lights. Got a light switch over here now for a little bit of storage. And we do have a little access to our milk storage, so this is where your milk's gonna come out. So open that gate. And in terms with your Surrey, that comes out of here. And yeah, it's a good old, pretty much an old school quaint shed. Got a bit of like storing area potentially. Or for story aspects in terms of the cows out and graze. But yeah, in terms of like the reality aspects, you can store bells and that here for your stroll. And it looks like we do have a little access to the roof. And oh, got a little kitchen in that. So yep, close that, got your kitchen. Got your little office for your meetings. And yeah, even though like, yeah, we're bumping around in that. Well, she is still quite relatively good. There is a room up there. I cannot find. Looks like there's room. Yeah, room up there, but I cannot find a way to get up there. So yeah, I've had a look, and there ain't. Yeah, it's literally. Nothing to get up here, only that little area up there, but I can't find, as we mentioned, of a extra bit of equipment, but there are ladders. Like, for example, there's a ladder here to get up there. Yeah, it looks like there is a... Oh, wait a minute. My correction, there is, yeah, so yeah, I was like, what well, how do you get up here? Like try to lift the ladder up. So open the gates, get smacked in the face. Can open the windows, but yeah, a nice little loft storage area. So yeah, potentially sort of pads up here, so good thing I had the help menu open, because yeah, first of all, I like, tried to grab the ladder, like, over here, press the circle. But no, just go to the right side of it. That actually is quite neat. I was going to say, yeah, we've got ladder mods and that, but... So yeah, that is the Calborn 20x35x Paisal. Next. 
We've got two mods by Missy B today. So first of all is the cow pasture. It is 3.37 megabytes to download. Lemon slots on console. Feed capacity is 1 million liters. And it holds 100 cows. So got your dollar box here. Don't need to jump over. Obviously there's a gate here. Input for your food feed is here. Output for Surrey is here. And that looks like your manure heap. So yeah, that looks like your manure heap. And for your milk, that would be over here. And yep, this is your milk output. So you yeah, got four little tanks here and a big main one on the inside. So yep, yeah, milk comes out there, feeds and straw goes in there. Dialog boxes here. And this can be found under placeables and animals. So under a cow, so you got your first of all the cow by twenty by thirty five. Again, slight correction, I forgot to show the placeable. And there is colour options. For the cow pasture, there are a limitation, so it's only a ninety degree rotation. You do have some colour variation, so and that really only changes the walls and that, not the roof. So yeah, that is the cow pasture by Missy B. Next we got her sheep barn L shape. Or as shown in game, the large shape or sheep barn large. This is 3.65 megabytes to download. Six slots for consoles. It is 200 capacity for sheep. So your input of materials is here. So yeah, input is also here. So I'm guessing one is for your feeding, and the other one here maybe actually could be your output for the wall nap because got your dollar box here go into build mode and ah so you got a your wall yeah because yeah it's showing the tipping point as something that goes in actually let me grab some hay and ants because I am curious about this Yeah, so yeah, I've got some hay, and yeah, that's got to be your output for your walnut. Coming over here. Ah, wait a minute. Oh, I have seen the dialog. Yeah, not the dialog box, but the hazard marked area. So your wall comes out of here. Alright, so we've got like two areas for your hay and that. Ah, so I'm thinking, yeah, most likely, yeah, actually I know this, it's, so these three areas are your inputs. I'm guessing that's a hay acceptance area. Your output for your wall comes out of here, so between here, here, and goes to here, so actually that is a pretty large area. So yeah, this can be fine under placeables, under sheeps. And unlike with her cow bed, cow pastures, you do have a variety of options of rotation. Colour options, I cannot find any colour options, so what you see is what you get. So that is the Sheep Barn L Shape by Missy B. Next. We've got something a little bit different. This is the Pig Shelter by Red Phoenix. There are a couple of mods by him or her we're going to look at today. But yeah, so the actual shelter are these little things. 
Ignore the clippings with the pigs. <laughs> yeah, that looks interesting, but yeah. So in a way, yeah, like, can I see that little pig went in there? It's coming out there. And yeah, these are your pig shelters, and these are purely decorative, so these can be fine under decorations. Um, scroll down. They can be found here, so yeah, we've got a yeah, seven hundred and fifty pounds. Three slots each for console. 0.22 megabytes to download. Not sure if I said that. But yeah, there's no colour options or anything, so what you see is what you get. And yeah, for a little bit of a decorative piece. I have got no problems with that. So that is the Pig Shelter by Red Phoenix. Next we're looking at some field edge markers. Again, this is by Red Phoenix. 0.35 megabytes to download. These are decorative field markers, so let's say if you go around your fields now and you're very close onto the property line or something with another farmer net. You can place like some of these down, so got a stick and a bucket, stick and a pink cancer, a stick and a jer not jerry can. I'll call them jerry cans, but I know they're not jerry cans. Plastic drums, maybe. Got some little rocks. You got two large wood beams. And you also got some little itty bitty tiny markers, so. This can be found under decorations and others. And yeah, so each of these, as mentioned, these are two slots each. They go down to one. And yeah, not too bad for prices. It says on the mod hub $150. But here, these are only. Ten, ten dollars. So I'm not sure what that discrepancy is. But anyway, so that is the field edge marker by Red Phoenix. Next, we've got the homemade blinds. This is also by Red Phoenix. It's another decorative. Two slots for console. Two point two five megabytes to download. And yep, it says homemade blinds. Cheap but gives great cover. Says seven hundred and fifty pounds, pounds, dollars, and euros. So this can be found under buildings, decorations, and other. So yeah, some little shelter areas. Seven hundred fifty each. And yeah, imagine having a little rifle in that. You know, go a bit sh shooting in that in the wilderness. But yeah, for like a wilderness or a forestry map, there'd be some good bits of decoration. So that is the homemade blinds by Red Phoenix. Next, we've got the German water hydrant. This is also by Red Phoenix. 0.86 megabytes to download, one slot for console. And yeah, it says water hydrant built after German specification. No, yeah, built after German. Not sure if that's a translation error or something, but yeah, specifications, no day upkeep, and 1250, 1250 to purchase. So this can be fine under buildings and containers. And yeah, so this would be your war hydrant. And so it uses to supply water to your farm for greenhouses or animals. So yeah. Nothing more than that. So this is the German War Hydrant by Red Phoenix. Next. We've got a plethora of houses. This is the large package of houses by Rajot G Play. It is 57.7 megabytes to download. Slot counts are 40 slot counts for the house here. So yeah, seat trigger. Nothing else, can't change clothes, can't enter the building, so a purely decorative seat trigger. So this is 40 slot counts. And the following are purely decorative items. 
They are mostly 4 to 8 slot counts, apart from one being 15 slot counts, so... So yeah, let's have a look at this, so go under to your construction mode, under buildings and farmhouses, you can find your farmhouse, so... 4 8 slot counts to place goes down to 2, 110 grand, and it says it's got Christmas lights, so around Christmas time, this house will show up as bit of a festive periods and yeah the rest of these could be found under decorations and others so yeah go to the yeah, large package of houses so yeah it's four to eight no sorry four to fifteen slots most of these are four or eight slot counts apart from this one here which for some reason is 15 slot counts. Not sure why, but. So, yeah, you got a okay, variety of Eastern European houses to place down. So, yeah, variety of options. Again, no colour configuration, so what you see is what you get. But, yeah, for 10 grand each, for just purely a decorative item, you can definitely transform your map. Yeah, you have some old like brick and mortar buildings. So you got a variety of types, so yeah. That is the large package of houses by Rajot G Play. Next we've got a variety of cell points here. So this is the Lawn and Firewood customers by Hilly Farms. 2.27 megabytes to download. Slot count is two for each. And yeah, just to read the mod description it says get your domestic yard services business buzzing. So if you've got a bit of a lawn care business or a firewood business, this is where you can sell your materials. And there are a variety of colours of tarpaulin, so we've got blue, we've got grey, and we got green. Uh, from the mod description it says the green tarpaulins here are generous the blue tarp tarpaulins are economy and it says the grey is for misery and basically so with maps you've got your set cell points again with mods and that does have a variety of offers depending on what is in the XML file but yeah, so these are percentages of your base map cell points. So the grey tarpaulins here, the misery, are 25% of market price. The blue ones are 50%, and the green ones are 75%. So yeah, first of all, let's look under how you place them. So. You'll find these under Productions and Cell Points. As mentioned, these are two slot counts each. And it goes down to one. So yeah, they only accept grass and wood. Regardless whether or not they have the little log areas or not. Purely, it depends on the size, so if you want just a tarpaulin, in, fine. If not, you want something a bit more decorative, there you go. Even though for the woods, you do have your trigger area here, so it says for recommended to sell the woods, you'll need small logs or chopped firewood, so interesting. And yeah, in terms of prices, so let's go to our woods, so the farm shop, the base map here on New Man's Land, for woods, 2900 for your sell everything container and sell everything containers and that around about 2900 and yeah even though it says in the mod description this is 25 50 and 75 percent of the map price on average they are exactly the same however if you head to grass this is where you see the difference so between the sell everything and the farm shop, you're looking at around 
$140 per thousand years. So for your green, which, yes, yeah, so your green cell points, remember these are 75% apparently of the cell price, so on average, £105 per thousand years. And then for your blues, which is half the price, on average, $70 per thousand years, so makes sense. And go down to your grey, which is misery. 25% off the base sale price. You're looking around £33 per thousand a year. So, yeah, if you're producing too much grass and that, yeah, for some reason you can sell it a little bit cheaper. Me personally, I don't see where this will. In terms of the pure sale price, I'm not sure where this will fit in, but hey, every mod has a purpose for at least one person, so I'm not going to be complaining. So, this is the Lawn and Firewood Customers by Hilly Farms. Next, we'll head on to our equipment. So, let's go and head over there. To start off with, we've got the Three Point Pig Carrier. This is by Marcello22. 7.95 megabytes to download. It is two slot camps for consoles. And yep, yeah, it's just a pig carrier. That goes on to your three point leakage. It can hold one pig at a time. And yeah, there, there is an issue with this mod, but anyways, these can be found under tools and animal transport. Go down to the end, got your three point pig carrier, and that it tipping over is one of the issues I've got with this mod, so. There is a custom palette of colours of various reds, greens, oranges and blues along with your typical black and grey so your main colour changes the frame and the design colour changes the grills. And yeah the issue I've got with this is it tends to clip through the map so again this could be a map thing or what I'm not sure. So yeah, if I detach this, see, it tips and wobbles. I don't think that pig is going to be happy and please no one contact Peter. So that is the three point pig carrier by Masaro22. Next, we head to our preliminary mod for the day. Oh, no, sorry, for to last mod for the day. So, this is the Oymac Drago GT6 by STV Modding. 6.78 megabytes to download, 4 slots on console. And this is a 4.5 meter corn header. Working speed is 10 kilometers per hour and cost 32 grand. And yeah, the Oymac, that is a new brand, I think, for console at least. Or at least a made up brand or something because I've not seen or heard of iMac before. But anyways, this can be found under tools and corn headers. Head to the end and there are some design options. So you've got your Drago GT and Drago 2. All that changes is the Drago logo. Yeah, Drago logo on the edge here of the header. But anyways, as we head back in here, there are two car options, black or red. So that changes the main body colour and the sickle colours and that on the header. And yeah, like just for first looks at it, very good level of detail, very realistic and yeah, actually just the look of it. So you turn it on. Fold it up so reduces to about a three meter width for transporting down lanes, or three and a half meters, should I say? But yeah, good animations. But yeah, just turn it on and just yeah, the level of detail is nice. So got a small bit of corn here, so just have a look at it. Yeah, process your corn as normal. 
I mean, they, it's a four and a half meter header, but this is a nice little detailed and some nice animations with this mold. So there we go, a little bit of corn done. So yeah, that is the Olimac Drago by GC6. Four hour preliminary mod of the day. This is the Marshall QM-11. This is by John Deere 2450. 16.53 megabytes to download. 10 slot counts each for a console. To, regardless of the configuration. And yeah, this is a popular trader due to the combination of heavy duty design and current capacity and ease of operation. The capacities varies from 14,500 litres to just over 28,000 litres. So yeah, you'll find this under Tools and Trailers. Head down to the end. So yeah, Marshall QM-11. And again, a brand I have not seen on FS22, but again, I could be wrong for at least on console. So yeah, for design, we've got the Swinging green door. We've got the swinging green door with the hatch, so for your green doors. We've got a hydraulic green door. Hydraulic green door with a hatch. And next, we go up to a swinging slidish door. Swinging slidish door with extensions, so that changes the configuration. So, start off with 14,500 litres. As you go up to your size store, it goes up to just under 25,000 litres. And then with the extensions, now 28,100 litres. And then also we have a hydraulic size store. Hydraulic size store with extensions. And then back down to swinging green door. So let's keep this under here so with silage you don't have a cover option but for your normal trader you do so little brands we've got treadboard wides see so a treadboard wides these are standard first steins we've got wides wide two back to wide bkt wide tires continentals we've got standard standard two and back down to standards Slight thickness in the tire change, maybe. Mission wides, and then back down to Treadborg. So, next we've got the QM range, and all that is is just a sticker. I'm not sure what QM is, so if you know, you know, but I'm not sure what that is. But purely that is a sticker. Next, we head to the back, we've got the Farm Gate 2 door plate sticker again a another st sticker option rear beacons we've got no or yes so that changes for the beacons at the back of the tail and for your normal trailer there is a cover option no or yes next we head down to our cover option so there's only two custom colors the marshall red and marshall blue so your main colour changes the body of the trailer. Design changes the chassis colour and the linkages on the sides. Your design colour, oh we do have a Marshall Green though actually. <coughs> and that changes the cover option in terms of what colour. So got green or maybe a outlandish pink. And then, yeah, ring colours, Marshall Yellow, or your basic colour, so orange. So yeah, that is your rim colours. So yeah, let's hop into a tractor here. So yeah, we've got some grass and some cotton loaded up. Let's go and hook this up. There we go, offload it. Nice animation. Yeah, especially with the hydraulic system. I am a sticker for hydraulics so so let's go and attach that. And next we'll move on to the size body trader. 
So you've got some shaft deer. Once again, level of animation and detail with the hydraulics. And just in general, the detail with the mod itself is actually relatively nice. So let's go and empty this because one thing I want to look at is in general with size traders, it's used with this thing. Yeah, with size traders there are only limited to like chaff and silage and that, so let's go over here to our fill tank. And with this you do have a plethora of options, so not just limited to silage and chaff. If you want, you can put other crop types in here, grapes, olives. You can put anything in here as you wish. So yeah, that is the Marshall QM-11 by John Deere 2450. Next, we'll head to our final mod of the day. For our final mod of the day, we've got the Lizard Scorpio Bell Wrapper. Bit of a more of a old, rustic looking link, three point linkage bell wrapper. And this is by Bart Snow V3. 5.51 megabytes to download. It is 5 slot cuts for console. And yep, this is a bell wrapper, can wrap 125 or 150 centimeter round bells. And yep, it attaches to the rear of the tractor and does have a bell end turner as a option. Unloading can take place with or without a belt lifter. So yeah, you'll find this under shops and tools. So under belt wrappers, yeah, we've got it, the basic converted belt wrappers, but that's the thing, we have not seen many belt wrappers on consoles, like apart from any like three point linkage systems and out. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, we've got the Lizard Scorpio. 13 grand, weighs 1.2 tons, 125 or 150 centimeter round bells. Five slot counts goes down to one. And yeah, it's a very limited in options, but wheels we've got standard, standard tool, standard three, standard four, and back down to standard. So if you like chunky tires like me, standard three is what I'll go with. Number of foils, we've got three or five, so that would be the foil wrappers. And in terms with, does it make a difference? As far as I can see, no, it does not. And wrapper design, we've got standard, or with bell on and turner, and back down standard. So if you want your bells to lay flat afterwards, then that'd be a good thing to have. So let's go and. Yeah, get us linked up. Go back this up. Unfold it. Turn on automatic drop. So yeah, options. Now that's for the John Deere net. But yeah, so no other options or controls in that. Just put from your typical bell wrapper, so approach it. Ah, bell type is not supported. Ah, that's because these are the liftable bells, so liftable bells it can't do. But I've just got a normal grass bell here done, so yeah, it could do 125 to 150 centimeter round bells. And yeah, just looking at that. Good level of details, nice animations. And how does the bell on enter now work? So it's wrapping it. it. Takes a while to wrap. So yeah, it does take a bit of a while to wrap, but apart from that, so you yeah, unfold it and just rolls off onto the back. But yeah, besides from that, I have, like, good level of detail, love the animation, good, again, just like the details and the stickers and that. Like, you can actually read the foil stickers. I'm guessing that is uh, German or 
No, sorry. German or Polish? Oh. Actually, no, no, I don't think it's German, I think it's Polish actually, because I'm a fan of Rammstein and I know my German, so yeah, it looks like Polish, so if you know what that is, then by all means let me know, because I am interested to know, like. That is a little bit of detail I have not noticed on mods before, so that is the Lizard Scorpion Bell Wrapper by Barso V3. And that is where we've come to the end of the team of today's mods. So yeah, we've got a pack full of mods, lots of buildings and sheds, animal pastures, good level of detail bell wrappers and new branded equipment I've never seen before, so yeah, that's what we're going to leave it today, and as always, hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is Performer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.